you very much. Good evening. Welcome to Star Search. We're eight weeks away from the semifinals, if you can believe that, and we're counting. As always, you have the best seat in the house, and the best new stars of 1986 are on their way to a million and a half dollars. In 1983, a reality show was aired which later became the DNA of every major talent reality show. Its pioneering multi-category format featuring singers, dancers, and comedians has become a template for shows like American Idol, The X Factor, and The Voice. With its innovative format, Star Search became a launchpad for numerous careers, discovering hidden gems and propelling them into stardom. However, the glittering success of Star Search wasn't without its shadows. The rise of reality television, changing audience preferences, and internal conflicts eventually led to the decline of the once-revered platform. As the new millennium unfolded, Star Search faced fierce competition, and its influence waned. Join us as we uncover the rise and fall of Star Search. Good evening. Welcome to another great season of Star Search, the world's greatest talent competition. First off, I'd like to congratulate our eight $100,000 winners from last season. Many of them are here in the audience. You'll see them later. Star Search emerged during a transformative era in television, marking its debut in 1983 when the landscape of talent competitions was in its infancy. Created by Al Massini, a visionary television producer, Star Search sought to revolutionize the way the world discovered and celebrated talent. The show quickly captured the imagination of audiences with its innovative format, blending elements of variety shows and competitions. The format of Star Search was simple yet groundbreaking. Star Search featured a distinctive format that set it apart from other talent competitions of its time. The show, hosted by Ed McMahon, encompassed eight categories per episode, creating a diverse showcase for a range of talents. The format, while evolving over the seasons, followed a structured pattern that added suspense and excitement to each episode. Potential contestants first underwent auditions to secure a spot on the show. Once selected, each category featured a duel between a champion and a challenger. In the initial seasons, the challenger typically performed first, with the champion following suit. However, in later seasons, the order was reversed, with the champion taking the stage first. A panel of four judges assessed the performances, awarding stars on a scale of 1 to 4, later changed to 5 based on their judgment. The total scores were then revealed by Ed McMahon, determining the average for each act. The act with the highest average score emerged victorious. In case of a tie, a studio audience vote was conducted to break the deadlock, and the results were disclosed at the end of the show. To advance in the competition, performers needed to achieve a winning streak, typically requiring three or four consecutive victories, depending on the remaining shows in the season. In later seasons, performers who achieved a three-match winning streak were automatically retired, paving the way for new contenders in the subsequent weeks. Two semi-final shows occurred in most seasons, one in the fall and the other in the spring, leading up to the championship show. The semi-finals involved seven judges, and while no scoring was revealed, the winners of each category progressed to the highly anticipated championship show. The championship show was the pinnacle of the competition, where the champions of the male vocalist, female vocalist, vocal group, comedy, and dance categories were awarded $100,000. Importantly, a winning did not guarantee a record contract, but many Star Search champions from the early seasons secured recording contracts shortly after the competition concluded. Star Search's format not only provided a platform for emerging talents, but also added a strategic element, requiring contestants to navigate a series of victories to reach the championship round. The show structure, blending competition and entertainment, contributed to its enduring popularity in television history. The inaugural season of Star Search showcased remarkable talent and introduced the world to the first set of champions who would go on to make significant marks in their respective fields. Among the standout winners were Sawyer Brown, the vocal group champion, and Sam Harris, the male vocalist champion. Their victories in the first season set a precedent for the show's ability to propel emerging talents into the spotlight. Sawyer Brown, the vocal group winner, established themselves as a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. Their triumph on Star Search was a stepping stone to a successful career that would include hit songs, chart-topping albums, and recognition as one of the country's prominent bands. Sam Harris, the first season's male vocalist champion, became an emblematic figure of Star Search's success. Known for his powerful voice and charismatic performances, Sam held the title for an impressive 14 weeks during season 1. Although eventually defeated by singer Bo Williams on his 14th attempt, Harris's record-breaking run underscored the show's ability to propel contestants into prolonged success. 
The second season brought another male vocalist champion into the spotlight, Durrell Coleman. His astonishing achievement of winning the $100,000 prize with 15 wins and no defeats marked him as a star search legend. Durrell's success highlighted the impact of the show in launching careers and securing substantial rewards for its champions. Limited warranty, winners of the second season's vocal group category continued the trend of star search success stories. The winner's circle expanded beyond vocalists and groups to include diverse talents. Linda Rita, the third season's female vocalist champion, showcased her vocal prowess on Star Search, foreshadowing her later success as a Broadway star and recording artist. In a noteworthy turn of events, Tiffany, despite not winning her competition, went on to become the first Star Search alumna to land a number one hit. Performing as Tiffany Renee, her cover of Tommy James and the Shondells, I Think We're Alone Now, not only achieved chart-topping success, but also surpassed the original single's chart performance. The spokesmodel category, an integral part of Star Search, saw Tracy Ross emerge as the first spokesmodel winner. She later transitioned into a leading actress role on the soap opera Passions, showcasing the diverse opportunities that Star Search opened for its contestants. The 1990s was an era that bore witness to the meteoric rise of pop icons, acclaimed actors, and beloved comedians, and remarkably, they all seemed to share a common thread – an appearance on Star Search. This groundbreaking talent competition became an unparalleled platform that served as a launching pad for many of the decade's most significant and enduring talents. Here are some of its most famous contestants. Beyonce Knowles before ruling the music industry with Destiny's Child and as a solo artist, Beyoncé graced the Star Search stage in 1993 as part of the girl group Girls' Time. The group didn't win, but Beyoncé's presence hinted at the greatness to come. Drew Carey Prior to hosting The Price is Right and starring in The Drew Carey Show, the comedian Drew Carey appeared on Star Search in the late 1980s, showcasing his stand-up comedy skills. Alanis Morissette in the early 1990s, a young Alanis Morissette competed on Star Search as a singer-songwriter. Although she didn't win, her appearance foreshadowed her later success with the groundbreaking album Jagged Little Pill. Aaliyah The late R&B sensation Aaliyah participated in Star Search in 1989. Even in her early years, her talent and charisma were evident, paving the way for her illustrious but tragically short-lived career. Sasha Baron Cohen before achieving fame as the creator of characters like Borat and Ali G, Sasha Baron Cohen appeared on Star Search as a traditional stand-up comedian in the early 1990s. Adam Sandler Long before becoming a Hollywood heavyweight, Adam Sandler showcased his comedic talents on Star Search as a stand-up comedian. His appearance on the show contributed to his later success in the worlds of comedy and film. Ray Romano the beloved comedian and actor Ray Romano gained early exposure on Star Search as a stand-up comedian, paving the way for his successful career in television with the hit sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond. Brad Garrett Another star from Everybody Loves Raymond, Brad Garrett, also started his career on Star Search, where his stand-up comedy skills caught the attention of audiences and industry professionals. Rosie O'Donnell the multi-talented Rosie O'Donnell, known for her work in comedy, acting, and hosting, began her journey to stardom as a stand-up comedian on Star Search, and it became the foundation for a stellar career that spans multiple genres from rock to pop and country. Sharon Stone Academy Award-nominated actress Sharon Stone also had an early stint on Star Search, where she showcased her charisma and acting skills before achieving fame in Hollywood. Sinbad the comedian and actor Simbad made a name for himself with his stand-up routines on Star Search, paving the way for a successful career in comedy and television. Aerie Spears Comedian and actor Aerie Spears made his mark on Star Search with his stand-up comedy routines. His sharp wit and impersonations showcased his comedic versatility. He later gained widespread recognition for his work on the sketch comedy show Mad TV. Dave Chappelle before the world knew him as the mastermind behind the groundbreaking sketch comedy series Chappelle Show, David Chappelle honed his comedic craft on the Star Search stage. Where there were so many celebrities who got their early start on Star Search, there is one particular singer who couldn't make the cut. John Legend recently revealed on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon that he once faced rejection from the popular talent show Star Search, a childhood dream he passionately pursued. Recalling his admiration for the iconic show and the artist it showcased, John expressed his strong desire to be a part of Star Search. He really admired the host Ed McMahon and the platform's history of launching great talents. 
Driven by his aspiration, John entered a local star search competition held at the Fairfield Commons Mall outside Dayton, Ohio. Winning the local contest presented him with an opportunity to have his tape sent to the National Star Search, but unfortunately, he did not receive the anticipated callback to progress further in the competition. Despite winning the local Star Search, the national stage eluded him, marking the end of that particular dream. While John didn't get the chance to showcase his talents on the singing show, he humorously shared that there was a silver lining. He received a consolation prize in the form of a $500 shopping spree at the new mall, and he happily indulged in buying a significant amount of clothes. Star Search emerged in the 1980s as a game-changer in the entertainment industry. It offered a multifaceted platform that encompassed a diverse range of talents. Its innovative format, spanning singing, dancing, comedy and acting, set it apart from traditional talent shows, making it an all-encompassing stage for performers to showcase their skills. This inclusivity wasn't just a gimmick, it was a revolutionary approach that resonated with both participants and audiences. The draw of Star Search lay not only in the variety of its categories, but also in the unparalleled exposure it provided. In an era before the widespread use of the internet and social media, national television remained the most potent tool for reaching a massive audience. For aspiring talents, the prospect of performing on a stage that can be seen by millions of viewers was a golden ticket to recognition and potentially stardom. The appeal of Star Search extended beyond the allure of winning a cash prize. It was about the transformative power of visibility. Singers like Britney Spears and Beyonce saw it as an opportunity to have their voices heard on a grand scale, a chance to break through the noise and capture the attention of a broad audience. The platform became a launchpad for their music careers, setting the stage for the global stardom they would later achieve. For comedians, including Drew Carey, Sasha Baron Cohen, and Adam Sandler, Star Search was an entry point into a fiercely competitive industry. The exposure gained from the show wasn't just a fleeting moment in the spotlight, it was a potential gateway to future opportunities in comedy clubs, television, and film. The comedy category on Star Search wasn't just about laughs, it was a serious opportunity for these comedians to make a mark in the entertainment world. The show wasn't merely a competition. It was a dream factory, turning aspirations into reality. Aaliyah, known for her versatility in both music and acting, found a platform on Star Search to showcase her talents, proving that the show wasn't confined to creating just music stars. It was a transformative experience for contestants who dare to dream, offering them a chance to be seen, appreciated, and remembered. In essence, Star Search was a cultural phenomenon that left an undeniable impact. Its ability to identify and elevate talent across various disciplines spoke to its unique position in the industry. It wasn't just a talent show, it was a stepping stone to fame, a platform that turned unknown performers into household names. In 2002, Star Search makers surprised audiences with an unexpected and heartwarming spin-off, Petstar. While the original Star Search showcased human talent, Petstar took the spotlight away from the stage and onto the unique abilities of our beloved furry and feathered friends. Airing on Animal Planet, this delightful spin-off captured the imagination of viewers with its charming and entertaining showcase of talented animals. Petstar refined the familiar format of its predecessor but with a furry twist. Pets of all shapes and sizes, from dogs and cats to birds and more exotic creatures, took center stage to display their remarkable skills. The show featured various categories, including Best Dressed, Best Trick, and Best Talking Bird. The concept was simple, yet captivating. Let the world see the extraordinary talents that pets could bring to the table. Guiding viewers through this animal extravaganza was none other than the charismatic host Mario Lopez. Known for his engaging personality, Lopez brought humor and warmth to the show, making it an enjoyable experience for audiences of all ages. A rotating panel of celebrity judges, including both animal experts and well-known personalities, lent their expertise and entertained audiences with their reactions. The judges evaluated the performances based on the uniqueness of the tricks, the charm of the animals, and the overall entertainment factor. The contestants on Petstar were not seasoned performers, but rather the everyday pets that shared their homes with dedicated owners. From dogs showcasing incredible agility to cats demonstrating unexpected tricks, each episode featured a diverse array of acts that celebrated the special bond between pets and their owners. Similar to Star Search, the contestants on Petstar competed for cash prizes and the coveted title of Petstar Champion. The winners of each episode advanced to the season finale, where they had the chance to claim the ultimate title and showcase their pets' talents to a national audience. 
Pet Star left a lasting legacy as a heartwarming and unexpectedly entertaining spin-off. It not only celebrated the unique talents of pets, but also focused on the joy and connection that animals bring to our lives. In the wake of American Idol's groundbreaking success, Star Search, a pioneer in the talent competition genre, made a triumphant return in the early 2000s. The revival, hosted by Arsenio Hall, unfolded on CBS from 2003 to 2004, later finding a second home on GSN from 2004 to 2005. This reincarnation brought with it some key modifications, reflecting both the changing landscape of television and the evolving tastes of the audience. The revamp Star Search featured a four-season run, with each season introducing variation in its categories. Initially comprising adult and junior singer, comedy and modeling, the show underwent changes in the subsequent seasons. Modeling gave way to dance in seasons two and three, and in the final season, the comedy category was eliminated, leaving only the singing and dancing categories. The judging panel, a crucial component of the show, included four panelists, Ben Stein, Naomi Judd, Amit Zappa, and a rotating celebrity panelist, with Ed McMahon making at least one appearance. Contestants faced off in pairs, with the judges, along with the celebrity panelist, assigning scores on a scale of one to five stars culminating in a maximum studio score of 20 stars. During commercial breaks, the home audience participated by rating the performers. It contributed up to an additional 20 stars. This interactive element allowed viewers to play an active role in determining the contestants' fate. The climactic moment of each episode involved Arsenio Hall eagerly exclaiming, hit me with the digits, before revealing the scores. In case of a tie, Arsenio would reach each performer's score rounded to the nearest hundredth, determining the winner. This format persisted for the first three seasons, with a special Battle of the Best episode held after the third season, featuring past grand champions. The fourth and final season brought about significant changes. The competition now included three contestants in each category – adult singer, junior singer, and dance. Comedy had been dropped. The celebrity judge was omitted, and a stable judging panel – Naomi Judd, MC Light, and Matty Lesham – remained throughout the series. With only three judges, a score of 15 stars was possible, and ties were resolved by majority vote. Winner's Circle was the unique addition to the final season concept. Former contestants, not necessarily the grand champions, comprised the initial winner's circle. The winning challenger had the chance to challenge one of the three performers in their respective winner's circle. If successful, the challenger took the winner's circle performer's place. The competition progressed with the special show where the three performers in each winner's circle faced off. The winners received a trip home and a free pass to the final show, making a strategic twist in the competition. The culmination of the final season involved the three people in each winner's circle competing against each other for a grand prize of $100,000. The show reintroduced the at-home voting concept for the final and a special free pass show. Notably, the adult singer group recorded a complete shutout, with the initial three performers remaining until the end. The free pass proved pivotal in the dance and junior singer categories, saving winners from challenges and ultimately securing their victories. Despite its storied legacy and attempts to adapt to a newer format, the revival of Star Search in the early 2000s faced the harsh reality of an industry transformed by the success of American Idol. By that time, the preferences of viewers had been shifted towards a new breed of reality shows. The comeback struggled to recapture the cultural zeitgeist that had made the original Star Search a phenomenon. American Idol had firmly established itself as the reigning king of singing competitions, captivating audiences with its intense competition format and the promise of discovering the next music sensation. The massive success of American Idol not only set a high bar for singing shows, but also reshaped the expectations of viewers, who are now accustomed to a more intense, emotionally charged, and star-making television experience. In addition to the dominance of American Idol, television saw a surge in interest in reality shows that delved into the personal lives and challenges of participants. Shows like Survivor, Big Brother, and The Bachelor captured the public's imagination, providing a different kind of entertainment that focused on interpersonal dynamics, strategic gameplay, and emotional narratives. As a result, Star Search faced the challenge of competing in a market saturated with diverse and compelling reality content. The absence of a robust online voting system, a key element that contributed to the success of American Idol, limited Star Search's ability to engage viewers actively in the competition. Furthermore, the decision to eliminate the comedy category and modify the format in subsequent seasons indicated an attempt to adapt to the shifting preferences of the audience. However, these adjustments were not enough to reclaim the show's former glory. 
In the face of these challenges, Star Search's attempt at a comeback became overshadowed by the overwhelming success of other reality shows that were dominating the ratings. While Star Search undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the history of talent competitions, its revival in the early 2000s showed how fickle anything can be in the entertainment industry. In 2019, Star Search tried to make a comeback once again, aiming to reclaim its status as a premier talent competition. However, the revival faced formidable challenges in a vastly transformed entertainment industry. This time, the emergence of social media platforms has reshaped the dynamics of fame, allowing individuals to independently showcase their talents to a global audience. This shift in the paradigm of talent discovery posed a significant hurdle for traditional reality shows like Star Search. The attempt to revive Star Search struggled to make a splash, signaling a changing tide in audience preferences. The show's once potent formula, which propelled numerous stars to fame in the past, appeared less compelling in an era where artists could leverage the immediacy and accessibility of social media to reach their audience directly. The allure of reality shows, which once held a monopoly on launching careers, was diluted by the diverse and decentralized avenues available online. Social media's democratization of the fame-making process allowed aspiring artists to circumvent the structured platforms of reality television. The 2019 comeback underscored the challenges faced by traditional talent competitions in an environment where individuals could independently share their art, build their brand, and garner recognition without the need for televised validation. As Star Search struggled to regain its former glory, the conclusion became evident. The world had indeed evolved beyond the need for the show that once defined talent discovery.